JC's Lawn Tips. Today, guys, I want to show you guys the snow plowing setup. It's a little bit different, not too much from what uh, you saw when I first got the truck, but I want to show you kind of what we're running with. We just had our first snowstorm here in Wisconsin. November 15th is when it was three inches of snow. So that's what I was doing all day yesterday and cleaning up today. By the time this video is posted, it might be a couple weeks from now. Oh, maybe what you're watching, it was years ago. You never know. But I wanted to show you what we're running with now. And that way uh, in the future, I can see how much we've progressed and how much stuff has changed. But I'm very, very pleased with this setup. It's really just a dream setup for what the work that I do. And I'll show you it right now. All right, so we're gonna start at the front here. This is a Boss DXT. It's an eight foot two stainless, super nice plow. The truck is a 2015 Ford F-250. Just bought this in the spring from a good friend of mine. Only has, uh, I bought it with like 57,000 miles on it. It's got about 64,000 on it now. So single cab, a little bit of tint on the windows, which I like. And then uh, in the back here, we just added this back rack. And just last night, my buddy came over and we spent like four hours uh, by we is mainly him because he knows what he's doing. Mounting that light bar and the two LED pod lights. And he did a killer job with this wiring. Uh, we went in through the back rack and then you could see it's all nice and tucked in here and bolted in and then there's plugs down here so if i ever need to take the back rack off or let's say i end up getting a new truck one day and i want to transfer the back rack over i can do that so that is super super cool so i got amber light up top and then just the two whites to the rear for the time being now in the back here i keep a bucket uh, and it has like a strap on it so i can sling it over my shoulder and just kind of spread salt as i need to for the i only take care of sidewalks at one property i only do five properties in the winter that are all apartment complexes so two shovels a big one and then i keep it like a 36 inch snowplow snow shovel for the light stuff uh salt supply uh this pallet came from russo i also go to another place called pro green around here they've been really good to me too so both of these places where i go for salt gas can is only for the snowblower and the snowblower never really stays in here i only have it in here today because i had to check on a sidewalk and i didn't want to go back and shovel it all so i brought the snowblower with but that's why the gas usually the gas can or the snowblower are not in here i take the tailgate off in the winter and i'll explain why in a second but this piece i use here just to hold the pallet in of salt i get it at a pallet at a time and i'll have it throw it right on here so this had 49 bags on and i'm down to 11 so you do the math it's like i used 38 bags yesterday um Here's where the snowblower sits for now. Just the strap, super tight, keeps it on here. The reason I keep the tailgate off now is because that way I can just kind of step right up into here, like so. And then once this is out of the way, you have all of this space where the snowblower is to grab a bag and throw it into the Boss TGS 1100 tailgate salter, which I love this thing because you just slam a bag down on those spikes, it rips open, and you're in business. And then on top of that, what I normally do is take the bags, the empty bags, instead of putting in a bag or something like that, I stack them right here and I throw a full bag of salt right on top of it. End of the night, I'll take those out. I might find a better way. I thought of getting like a toolbox or something, but I feel like it's just a waste of space. Uh, this is an eight foot bed, so I do have plenty of room back here. And with the single cab, it makes it nice to plow with. So I figured I'd come up here and show you these lights one more time. So we went through the uh, back rack here. These were pre-drilled holes already that come like that. Like you can see here, there's one already here. You just pop these plugs off, run the wire through. And then all we did was drill a hole at the bottom of each one and ran the wires over down to the bottom there. So these are, uh, for anybody that's going to ask, this is a company called Echo, E-C-C-O. And that's their light bars that I ran. Uh, here they go. That's the company there. And this stuff's pretty good. Expensive. Uh, very expensive, actually. But it is what it is. I wanted to invest in good stuff. Each These lights were 90 bucks a piece right there. And this was $370. Uh, the back rack itself was about 400 bucks. So here about a grand for this setup right here, which it is what it is. I, I really care about safety and being visible. So it was worth the investment, if you ask me, for the work that I'm doing. So... Yep, this pallet, as it wears out, I load up, grab a new one, and then I just want to show you the back of the truck. Nothing special, just stay. Yeah, I love the idea that this can come on and off real easy. I'll make another video on that later. This salter is absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, and then if I need to, when I, if I do haul the snowblower in here, um, I can just lift it over the top of the salter, or just the salter comes off and literally, like, two minutes so i could take the salt there off and just lift it out of the bed that way but yeah this is pretty much the setup i'm rocking for snow at the moment so looks good that's for sure i'm a big fan of the stainless plow this is my other truck here this one's not set up yet but uh we're gonna get it set up next week with stuff so you uh, stay tuned for that excited for that one and then uh we'll be good to go so this is the uh the setup i've been rocking right now and hope you guys enjoyed it
you guys like this video let me know down in the comments below i plan to make some snow plowing like vlogs and stuff like that i just need to get a different type of camera for that sort of thing so i'm thinking like a gopro or something like that some in the cab over the shoulder maybe give me some ideas down in the comments if you like this kind of stuff please be sure to subscribe to the channel i have literally a backlog of videos right now i just haven't had time to edit and this is going to be one of them but it's going to come out and eventually when you come out you'll see the other dozen videos i have ready to go soon too so this is the setup i'm rocking for this year and i'll have some more updates for you in the coming weeks with some stuff we're going to add and change to this truck and the other truck uh, to make things more efficient and stuff like that so stay tuned i got some really cool stuff coming actually next week uh, by the time you see this so all right guys thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one take care